Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond, and welcome back to Stamping Sunday, week number two. Uh, this is an open collab that is hosted by Miss Thelma Hall, and I am co-hosting with her. Um, so, I, like I said, this is week number two, and I have to say, I did not accomplish uh, hardly anything <laughs> this week that I wanted to. Time just kind of got away from me and um but I did make a card last night. Ta da okay so the set that I used is um <clears throat> a retired Stampin' Up set and it's from 1998. Yes back in the day. Um and this is the cutest uh little stamp set and I thought you know I'm gonna make a card with this and I wish I you know my style is clean and simple so that's kind of what I chose to do this go around so um, I did use these um, framelits from Stephanie Bernard um, so I just thought I would show you what I used and so this is what I came up with and I just uh, cut it out um, with two different sizes I inked it with a VersaFine ink and colored them in. Again, I cannot say enough about those Colors of the World um, colored pencils. They're the bomb. <laughs> so, and then I just um, popped these uh, little um, enamel dots on there just to kind of give it a little pizzazz. I was trying to go through my stash and look for... Um, like some raffia bows that I know I have somewhere. I couldn't find them. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I just, I went with the enamel dots. So, since I didn't do as much stamping as I should have, what I'm going to do today is go through my stash and pull out some stamps. I do need to make, um, just some everyday kind of hello cards and, and whatever. So, I'm going to put some things together for that. I'm going to work on some Halloween cards that are not probably going to necessarily be stamping because I bought a couple kits, but I am going to do some stamping because I really um, do enjoy it and I miss doing it. So um, that's my one card. But what I did want to share with you is I told you at some point I was going to show you like how I organize and store all my stamps so that I know what I have. And I know this is kind of like a lot of folks are doing this, but I just kind of want to show you what I do. Um, I have several of these photo boxes um, in a piece of furniture that I have. It's not necessarily like a craft related. It's like there's no Ikea in this room yet. <laughs> but... Um, and so that's where I store, you know, I have several. I think I have 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 of these. Um, and you can see they're all labeled on the outside. And I also have, hold on, I got stuff, these uh, photo boxes. And I store my stamps in these as well. And it's just, you know, photo case. Um, and I have each individual um, one labeled, right? They're all numbered, and they're all in order. Um, and then I actually label the box. And so this one is photo box one. And I have these all kind of stored around um, the room. So... Why is she telling us all this? Here's my handy dandy book. <laughs> um, so I saw this idea. It's like a, a thrifty Tiffany or whatever her name is. You know, the lady that does all the stuff. Well, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not buying like her system because I thought, you know, I can do this myself. And so what I did, this was just like an old um, photo album that I had. I didn't buy it. I just was here. And I don't know where I got it from. I didn't buy it intending for this purpose. And what I do is I take 
like we all have those papers in our stash that probably like aren't our jam. <laughs> you know, like I, I don't ever see me using this colored paper. So what I do is, you know, it's white on the back. So it's, it's usable, but I just, you know, colors, certain colors I don't like, um, and I'll never use it. And so I kind of go through some paper packs and pull out the stuff like, oof, yeah, no, that's just not for me. Probably not going to use it for what it was intended for. Um, so what I chose to do was all of the photo boxes um, that I showed you that are numbered, okay? And so this is, everything on this page is in that photo box, right, the stamp. And it tells, and I labeled each individual one. So... And, you know, it's two-sided, and you it's a good way to kind of use up some of the scrapbook paper that you m might not necessarily use that's just kind of taking up space. And, um, you know, there's no need to go and, and purchase, like, background, you know, photo, photo album paper because it, it's not necessary. Some of them I, I've stamped out. Other ones I've actually just taken the actual, um, you know, if it came with a card or something, I, I just would actually just glue that down to the page. Um, and this is a great way for you to kind of keep track of everything that you have so that if you want to make a card, you just kind of pull out the book and you look and you see, you know, what, what do I have? What can I use? Some of the, and they don't even have to be like, you can see here, like I didn't get a full stamped image. I don't care. Um, because what I want is to be able to pick something up, flip through it really, really quickly to see, um, is there something that I'm looking for? Like if I want to make a card and, you know, I have all of my house mouse stamps have been cat cataloged, so I know, like, which ones I have, and, uh, you know, so I can just grab the book, like I said, and I can flip through. Is it a lot of work up front? Yeah, it, it really kind of is, but it saves you from buying additional items um, or double buying because you know we do that all the time and uh, so I thought this would be a great way to kind of keep me on track so um, I usually work on this when like I have a couple days off or we're really not kind of have anything going on however that's not been the case for a very long time so I need to kind of get back on track so anyway you know, again, this collab is open. It's an ongoing collaboration. I'm going to link Miss Thelma's channel down below. Please like and subscribe. And I have gotten um, a bunch of new subbies from this collab. And it's a great way to kind of find other crafters that you may not know about that are even out there. So, um, you know, please, and we hope you join us. And like I said last week, it, you know, you can jump in and out whenever you want. If you just want to show us um, some stamp hauls that you got, or you want to show us, um, you know, like Thelma did an amazing video today. Hey, Thelma. And um, she's been a busy bee. And so I got to step it up. <laughs> um, but you know, you can stamp things out for a head so you have them. And so when the time comes, you can just, you know, color and put your card together and embellish what you want to do. And uh, so come back next week. I don't really know what I'm going to work on. It's going to be a surprise. So again, we hope you join us and please like and subscribe to both our channels if you're so inclined. And, um, you know, tell your friends. We're a very small right now, but mighty group. And I just want to thank um, the ladies that have, you know, jumped in and um, participated. And like I said, if you're involved in other collaborations and it involves a stamped project that you did, you know, let us know. Let us see what you've worked on, um, what you've um 
you know, what collaborations you're in. What what are you doing? We, you know, we love to see it. And I love um, to follow new people. And if you, you know, subscribe to my channel, I'm going to sub you back automatically because I get notified if um, people subscribe to my channel and I immediately will um, sub you back because I think it's important we support one another. And I like to see what other crafters are doing. My style is pretty uh, clean and simple. Um, you know, old school kind of... <laughs> think old school stamping up that's me um that's the kind of stuff that I like um and you know now with the way the mail and the postage is I always think okay I want to keep it clean I want to keep it simple I don't put a lot of uh, embellishments on my cards anymore because number one they get tore up when you send them in the mail and number two they try to say oh well it's additional postage because it's fatter than it needs to be so I, I just try to keep it basic, keep it real, um, but still keep it, you know, nice. So here is my big <laughs> contribution for this week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. And you know what, guys? Please be sweet and be kind to each other. We need that more than anything right now. And I'll be back to see you uh, next Sunday. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.